What a week it's been, guys. I have uh, started my week off on the Man City treble parade on the bus, thanks to John for the hookup again, by the way. That was incredible. And then it finished the week, Father's Day, having a nice wee day with the fam, getting the call from Sky Sports News. Brendan Rodgers has been confirmed as manager. Would you like to come on? And I was like, hell yeah, <laughs> let's get on that. And honestly, like, what a week it was! What a week it was from start to finish. You know, two fantastic bookends, and we're rolling into this week, guys. And for me, this is the beginning of the so rare World Cup. It's Euro under twenty ones, and we've got some midweek action in it. This just felt the opportune time to come out and do an old school lineup builder for the weekend. I've got some under twenty ones in the competition that we'll be playing. I've got some other cards in some other places as well. So I've got actually a really good amount of competitive lineups, which in a midweek is always a recipe for success. FC Barcelona the Master Air Club has got an esteemed history of midweek success and the experience of the club, it just feels like it's coming in this week. So we're locked and loaded at any point in the video. If you laugh, you learn, you like something or whatever, please do like and subscribe to the channel, share and retweet and all that good stuff, guys. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel before the new season. And we can't do that without you smashing the subscribe button. It's absolutely free. It does absolutely nothing for you. Helps me the world over. You've got no idea. And let's just get stuck into it. Now, I've not been on Surreal Data and Lineup Builder for what feels like an eternity, but it's probably not actually been like three game weeks or something like that. But I'm quite liking the fact that it does start off with the Academy here, so you can see all the goalkeepers that you've prospectively got in action. And for me, a lot of people think Tenas is going to start on the bench. I don't see it somehow unless there's been some sort of news. I'm backing Tenas to play this game. I believe Sean Johnson is away on international duty, so this is correct. Skorupskate is a long shot, but I wouldn't write it off, by the way. It does say 100% bench there, but... Away to Moldova, you know, maybe that's a cap for a guy like him. So I don't mind taking a wee punt on Skorupski and having double Baraza for 220, which is a great league for NYC cards, as well as, you know, All-Star or, you know, who knows what we'll do with that Baraza. But for the midweeks with the outfield potential we've got on top of these couple of goalkeepers, I'm excited. It makes sense if we would start with All-Star Rare Pro, the primary division that we're going to try and attack with our best cards, the ones we've got with the best shot of winning this game week. Now, I'm going to start off with using the AI on SD Soria Data itself and see what it suggests is the best team. And I am shocked to see full MLS. Now, this is uh, also not considering under 21s, which is fine, right? Maybe I'm overthinking it, but... I'm not sure when Yama Super Rare comes into the best five I've got available. In the form of Magno recently, I don't know what warrants his position in this team. So, uh, you know, I'm quite happy if, if, you know, if we think Gold is a stick on. Let's keep that there. Let's keep Baraza there if we fancy that as the best keeper. Well, that makes sense, obviously. And uh, Sviachenko, I don't mind that at all. If we think that's a stick on, I'm quite happy with that. But if we can bin these two guys, complete the lineup, but not these guys again. Santi and Everaldo. Hmm. So, so my forward options on this are fairly limited. It doesn't look like I've got much to really get that excited about. Now, Nonto is all but nailed on to play for Italy, and he's not shown up in the lineup builder. The France team is by no means a pushover of a defence. I'm not necessarily suggesting he's going for a great game, but the way his game is, is I think he's AA capable, and if he gets a decisive with the super rare multiplier in a pro setting, he's he's good to go for me. Otherwise, it is Magno away to Atlanta or Everaldo at home to Palmeiras. If I had to jam Nonto in, right, so I've got my two super rares. I'm quite happy with this actually as a build. Who would it put in as the final spot? It would go with Santi Rod. Now, the rare pro team I've got lined up before going on to Soria Data also has Trubin in it, as well as the Scotland boys, which makes me wonder now that Soria Data is not quite up to speed, up to task. For this game week. It does tell me something about some of these guys, which is fine. Hmm. No, the Scotland guys are here. They're just not rated as a good match. But I think Scotland at home to Georgia is a fantastic fixture. Interesting. Big difference on the AI there. I'm very much... I think it's probably quite reliable for what it's given me. Is he definitely on to start? That could be great as well against Iceland. Kufri, Hendry. Yeah, man, I think I've got really good options here in defence that... You know, is Fiatchenko... Yeah, let's go for it again. Let's run the, run the wheel. Yeah, it's coming out with Wanyama, man. Like, what is going on? Like, Wanyama, Santiago, like, over McGinn? 
How is this possible? By all accounts, Trubin is going to be in to play against Croatia. He just locked in a clean sheet as I record tonight. So Trubin, that's just what he does, man. He just goes everywhere, keeps clean sheets at youth championship level for Ukraine, main championship level for Ukraine, Champions League for Shakhtar. The boy does it all. He is the boy wonder of goalkeepers. And thanks to the wee collection bonus I've managed to pick up with a few cards recently, he's on a nice little 11% bonus, which is juicy. There's maybe a case to play a little bit of caution to the wind and go with Barraza, but I just don't see there being any chance in hell that Trubin doesn't play. Famous last words. <laughs> in defence, I have a lot of different conundrums because I've got guys that are destined to start, it looks like, in Guerrero and Caldwell, who will be on for huge scores, no two ways about it. But I also do have guys like Robbo, Super Rare Hendry, Sviatchenko, Kufri, uh, Super Rare Tierney, and then just at the bottom of the screen here, uh, Manu Sanchez, and maybe even Christopher Iyer, who's just behind my camera here, who is playing Cyprus. Now, he didn't play in the last game, so well, forget him, right? But there's a lot of real options here uh, in both colours, blue and red. So maybe I'll come away from defence and go to midfield. So I'm going to have less options here, and the combinations of red and blue is going to be the difference between this team hitting big and not in my opinion. Home internationals feels like the games we want to have McGinn in. So I feel that this is a big game. He's a big game player for Scotland. So I do feel that he's probably my best shout in midfield. Hard to ignore Rodrigo Raquel, mate. And Gabriel Vega's not showing up on this, but he will be featuring and could be a huge, huge card this game week as well. Gold come up, of course. Looks like a really good situation this week for him as well. And he's actually living the form right now which is always valuable in these midweeks. Having a guy that's actually playing in a consistent situation shouldn't be undervalued. Up front, I know I've got Nonto, which we spoke about already. We don't have Jack and Marcus, so just ignore that. Otherwise, yeah, it's Magno or Everaldo. It does feel like Nonto is the pick. So if we play Nonto is the must-play, he has to be played guy there. That then leaves us a bit of flexibility with what rares and super rares we're going to play. So in midfield, it did feel like maybe McGinn was the best pick even over rares and stuff as well. Yeah, I think I would probably... I fancy McGinn in gold, because gold's away from home. Yeah, I think McGinn is the play. So I think that's the combination that we're going to run with on supers. And then that means my best defender, I'm looking at Colwell or Guerrero. Now, downside with Guerrero is, depending on how the game goes, Iceland are no mugs. They might not get 90 minutes. Banged in an 81 against Bosnia in the last game. He's in great form. He's just transferred to Bayern. Really hard to look past him. Levi Caldwell, but in this kind of game where he's going to boss possession, get lots of passes, and I think England get the clean sheet. I think England in these group stages at youth international football do boss teams. So I think he could he could bring in something like that very feasibly. We've got Robbo, Captain Scotland. We've got a rare Sviatchenko that we could play. Does feel like Levi is the safest show. I do you like Tierney as, as well, but that's a super rare. We've already cashed that chip. As with Hendry. So it's really... I think Robbo gets the minutes. And I think it's like, again... Again is a game Robbo could really smash. Robbo... I don't know, actually. Levi's got the 90s on him. I think Scotland have got such a great result in the midweek over Norway. It's hard to, to not get the Tartan army together in this all-star rare pro and double up with the Robbo. And then that gives me a spare rare position. So no more... Or any position, really. So I don't care if it's a defender or whatever. So we could still look at Rafi G. We can still look at Ryan G as well. <laughs> Levi Caldwell. All these guys can still come back into the conversation. A-OK, -okay, no problem at all. I think the one you play in this team, but is gold. And then it has to be Captain Gold, really, doesn't it? But then when I look at that, I think it's really upside down picking Robbo over Rafi because Rafi's clearly got the makeup here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Rafi in here. I'm gonna optimize this. I probably oh, should I Captain Rafi as well? No. I'm gonna back Robbo. Captain Robbo. Captain Gold. Scottish Messi, Captain Gold, Super Rare again, non to Trubin. I think this is a I just know I'm gonna feel stupid for not picking Guerrero. I have to Captain Guerrero on form. Let's do it. We're locked in. All Star Rare Pro, the big priority lineup. That's what we're going to rock with. I still fancy myself to have Barraza, Tenas, Barraza, and Tenas. So I've got really good defensive options like Caldwell, Robbo. There's a few super rares that are definitely worth looking at. So another pro division is definitely on the cards. Same in midfield. It's really super rare mids, but Santi Rod, don't know what's happening with Ladero. 60% on his start away in a hard match. Not excited about playing him. And up front, yeah. We've just looked at these guys. So. Bit light up front, no super rare strikers to bail us out. Now, I'm going to play a 10 asset under 23 rare pro because I think 
This is a differential opportunity that I've got this week that I'm not passing up. With Tenas, I think he's on to start for Spain. Colwell, I think he's going to boss it in defence. Will come on with a great score. And then the options I've got, once I lock in Magno on that 11.5% is I need two superiors. And I've got just the guys for the job. I've got Rodrigo Riquelme and Gabri Vega. And I'm going to captain Levi because I just think, oh, go on, give it to Magno. <laughs> <laughs> go for go. So I think this is all about firepower. I think this is podium dangerous now. Two pro entries this midweek in, you know, Tenas and Trubin. I'm more than, oh, just honestly, I'm really excited for this midweek. Vamos España! You know, with my Barraza and with the quality of, you know, kind of midfielders and such I've got elsewhere, I think it makes sense to go for 240. Uh, a lot of good options. I've got Maxime Cheneau, who, again, is getting international football. He scored really well last week for uh, Luxembourg. He scored like a 71, yeah. But a bit of a harder game this time around against Bosnia, so I'm not as confident with him this time. Uh, but I've got Sviachenko for 43, I've got Robo for 47. Some really good options there uh, for not too many points. In midfield, Santi Rod at 51 feels like a no-brainer. And then up front, Everaldo for 43 feels good points per pound, as it were. That leaves me over with 51. Uh, Keaton Parks looks to be the standout, but we do have some other options here as well. Keaton Parks looks to be the pick. And looking at this NYC team, man, that defence just hurts my face. There's not one true central defender amongst them, if you even want to call Tony Alfaro that. This is just wild. Justin Hack, by the way, you know, he might become a centre back. He's actually a big, he's, I actually kind of rate him. He's good. Uh, Alfredo Morella or Morales, whatever, man. That's interesting. But yeah, I think an Alfredo Morales gives you that. That's what we've had so far. So. They're the only two options that are really worth considering. So I think I would probably go Parks and then we're at max cap, which I know makes a lot of people excited. So we've got the NYC midfield and goalkeeper and we're going with Robbo and Everaldo. So nice kind of wee uh, 240 effort here to go and get my little dose of ETH. And on the note of getting a little dose of ETH, we're going to have a wee chance. We're going to have a wee stab at 240. We've got a 50 point goalkeeper that is probably going to DNP on us. But seriously, we've got... Four defenders here that are all going to play, probably, and uh, could be in with a good score. Tierney at 38 points. Feels very affordable. Uh, didn't have a great game against Norway. Get booked. Um, and obviously, we conceded the goal. No clean sheet there. But I think this could be a better game for him at home. Kufri could get decisive. Hendry at 47 points. Feels maybe a bit better than... Uh, probably don't need to go too far. It doesn't take too much work to find... Henry Scotland performances, yeah. So let's see at home, good. And then let's go back. Can we go further? Henry at Hamden feels solid. So we'll take Henry in for defence. In midfield, it says we've only got one Yama. I do also have Ivan Illich, who's in a training team. But I fancy him to play in that game, actually. So that's cool. Up front, we don't have any options. It does say we've got Jack and Marcus. Um, we have 95 points left. So let's forget the striker the now. And then, yeah, who do we think is going to get more points, really? Kufri, Sviatchenko, or Tierney? I'm going to go Tierney. And that leaves us with 57 points. And you know what? We can pick Jack and Marcus. If somehow, <laughs> if somehow he pulls a Denny Buanga and he, wow, that's bang on cap. So Skurupski's probably not going to play Jack and Marcus. Snowball's chance in hell, and that's happening. I'm going to say it's not happening. I think Greece probably have a friendly or something. I know they're playing right now as we speak against France. So, yeah, I don't see it happening. Um, but between the three guys, <laughs> it's not impossible. But, hey, if the goalkeeper plays, then it's definitely got a chance of something. And then we come to 220 rare, which is always a little bit of fun because it doesn't take much to win it, but... Sometimes, honestly, these guys just still manage to let you down. I think Sviatchenko at 43 is brilliant to have him remaining, by the way, because he could be really good points per pound. In midfield, even Ladero at 56. But again, we're running out of points quite quickly. We do need to identify somebody cheap that's going to be playing. Oh, anti Palaversa. I'd love to sneak him into this team, but I've just not got that much faith he's going to play. Big Alfredo for 35 points is perfect. With 93 points left, I would love to take Sergio Camelo for 40. And then with 53 points remaining, Justin Hack is probably good points per pound. 
And I think that's a really strong 220 outfit, by the way. Camelo will be a bench player, but he can be effective from the bench. The other four guys will start and do their bit. And hey, man, this, uh, this probably needs a, a decisive from Camelo. And if one of the other guys can get decisive, I think this, this can cook. That's the beauty of the collection kicking in, the collection bonus. Now, I do have enough spare parts. It would be remiss of me again to not just throw an effort into kickoff unique uh, because I still have Sviachenko. I still have McGregor. Still don't have a striker, obviously. So it's a three man team. It is a mad long shot. But hey, don't shoot, you don't score. And then the, we can put Kufri in here as well. Good XP opportunity for them all, of course, and all the rest of it. Um, and then maybe we throw in Jordan Larson's for good luck. Captain McGregor, of course. And hey, you never know. It could get lucky. <laughs> it could get lucky. But I'm locked and loaded for the midweek, guys. It should be a mad one. It's also my three-year so rare anniversary on the 20th of June. I'll be doing a big live stream. That'll be linked at the end of this video if you don't catch it live or when it happens. And yeah, should be good fun. Brendan Rodgers is in at Celtic. I'm sure there'll be lots of Celtic content coming out. The End Product podcast will probably be happening Wednesday this week. We've got members content. We'll have the deadline stream on Friday with Harry Trades. There's content here, there and everywhere, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Wish me luck this game week. Stay out of trouble and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.